Hello, this is Raina Rilsing, and these are my thoughts on Puss in Boots. So, the art style was very good. It had a very painted, stylized cartoon look. Like, definitely from, like, the bad guys movie. And there is a bit of, bit of some specks and sparkles in some of the artwork in the background. So, there's three antagonists. Jack Horner, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, and the Death wolf uh this movie will contain like a little blood and there's also a scene where a puss panics and this scene can be uncomfortable if you have anxiety this dog that comes along his name is perito though and sometimes Pero, which basically mm, perito means puppy and Pero means dog which is not a very creative name that they decided to go with at the end. It would have been fine if they just went with Perry. So Perry is definitely a comic relief character. Because I learned that apparently comic relief characters are needed. Or sometimes needed to like to make the movie more entertaining. There are times where I do laugh. Some jokes do make me laugh. So some of you may have already seen clips of the movie uploaded where apparently the, the dark forest where the wish is, the forest changes on whoever has the map. So and you will change you know that feel like the way that the map is, it definitely can like reflect the person and their what they feel and what their desires are. Like Kitty Soft Paws's map was sort of reflecting her loneliness and like sadness and misery of like her distrust. And for Pero, it seems to reflect his desire for like peace and happiness. And for Goldie, it reflected her desire for like family and nostalgia. And Pero's. I know that Peril's path looked the easiest, but there at least was some danger. Like, there was some eating posies, but you gotta smell them in order to make them not attack you. And they really leave you alone. So, one of our antagonists is, is the wolf. And I could figure out with, like, and I, I knew that with their whole... They have the scythe, teeth, which... I know room look like death, they'll feel like, feel like a representative symbol of death, so I could like, could, I was kind of starting to figure out something about them associated with death, and they technically are death in this universe. So Puss didn't get his nine lives on the end, he, I think he realizes that one is enough. And, you know, I feel like maybe he doesn't deserve them. I feel like it's just like an anti-hero. Like, some of the things he does is like, not a good thing. I don't know, he just feels like a bit of an anti-hero to me. Soft Paws' storyline confused me because she was thinking she was mad that Puss wasn't at the wasn't at the wedding, but she also wasn't at the wedding. She knew that deep down he was just gonna be a wuss and leave her, and I guess she like didn't trust him with his ego. You should have checked or asked to know he didn't arrive. No, he might have changed his mind. For Goldilocks, I can definitely see why she would want a, a different family because she's kind of not... There are times where, like, she's a little upset with her bear family and, like, isn't getting along with her, with her brother, baby bear. So I can definitely see it's reasonable for her to, like, want a different family besides not being a bear. And uh, for for Jack Horner, Jack Horner is based off of the little Jack Horner nursery rhyme. He basically, um, so he really wants all the magic. Uh, Dad's theory is that he may, that he is upset that magic in the form combined with Pinocchio basically made him lose his made him lose his reputation. 
and wrecked his family, his reputation, and he basically wants magic, so he can probably not be in that position again, and just be powerful. The movie was okay, that's all.